Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Daler Rowney watercolors. Um, and kind of the reason I'm doing this is just because I kind of want to get into reviews, and my sister, like, let me borrow these, and I made a small, like, little tin palette that you see a lot of people make for travel palettes, and I just kind of wanted to give my review on these super cheap and affordable watercolors. So to get on to kind of the, the cons, I'm going to list first, because I feel like I always want bad news first. So... Um, something I wasn't a huge fan of is that they were so, so slow to dry. Um, not really on the paper. On the paper they were fine. But if you're going from tubes to pans, or like I did, I just put dots in there, it takes forever for them to dry. Like, I waited like four days and it was still like very mushy. Um, another like not great thing is that there's not a huge color selection like I think there's definitely enough for you to get a good starter wa watercolor palette but if you don't enjoy mixing then I wouldn't recommend it but this set has a lot more pros than cons in my opinion uh, they're very easy to reactivate on paper which is something I love because I think watercolors greatest ability is kind of being able to correct your mistakes uh, I love that these are really quite pigmented, kind of except for the burnt sienna or burnt umber. Yeah, the burnt umber isn't super pigmented, but overall they're really, really great. And none of them I found were chalky at all. And uh, like I mentioned before, they're extremely cheap. It's like, I think like $7 for a 12 set, which is great. Um, also, since they're in tubes, it's very easy to like... If you run out of a color, then you just, like, pour more in your pan. So I think that's really easy to do. Um, so there's not a whole bunch for me to mention on these, because, I don't know, I think I need to sh shorten up this video a little bit. Um, what I want to talk about a little bit is the fact that it was really easy to mix colors with these, and they just felt really nice. Like, they felt like quality watercolors. I, there was really no setback, and I'm not a huge expert in watercolors, but... These definitely felt good, in my opinion. They weren't like those $2 things you get at the dollar store. And I'm not trying to crap on cheap art supplies, but I think you can get better with this than you can, like, just a regular, like, dollar store brand. Um, also, to update you guys on my channel situation, uh, I got a new mic. You can probably tell it sounds a little bit better. Maybe it doesn't because I don't know how to use this yet. I got a Blue Yeti from my friend that was, he upgraded to like a real studio mic and he was selling his Blue Yeti and I was like, yo boy, I will buy that from you. So he got it, uh, I paid like $60 for it and it's looking great in my opinion. I love it and uh, it's kind of a lot to say on that. I'm so sorry this video is taking forever and I feel kind of rambly but if you guys want to see more of these review type things, I would absolutely love to do that for you guys. And uh, just let me know by liking the video and stuff. Also, uh, I was inspired for these pieces uh, by, I think her name, yeah, it's uh, Furry Little Peach. She did these like huge, huge like paintings with the watercolor layering on this to make it look like landscapes. And I tried to get that, and with the rocks, I felt like I failed miserably, but I felt like I got it down with the water. Um, it's kind of like she uses a wash, and then she just only does the shadows is kind of how I figured out how to do it. And uh, that's kind of all, uh, all I have to say on that. Uh, also, I'm wondering if I should change my channel name. Like, I like Kitty May and all, but I wonder if I should change it to my real name. Because I feel like it would be more recognizable, and I could just, like, add art in the title, but... I've gone through so many changes with my channel, I don't really want to put you guys through another one. So I guess we'll just see in the end how this all works out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the new uh, sound quality. So I'll see you all next week, I guess. Bye!